Here we're going to be looking at graphing trig functions, and in this case we're doing y is equal to x minus pi over 2. And so this is going to be dealing with phase shift. And so when we're dealing with phase shift, sometimes it's a good idea to get an idea of where the original function was. So in blue, I'm going to graph the original function, which would be y equals sine of x. And so we recall that in sine of x, there is a point at 0, 0, and it ends at 2 pi. And about halfway through, or exactly halfway through, it again crosses the x-axis. And when we get up to 1, we're at pi over 2. And so at pi over 2, we're going to have a maximum. And at 3 pi over 2, we're going to have a minimum of negative 1. And so when I connect the dots here, that is the initial sine of x. Well, when we're talking about phase shift, we remember that our phase shift is going to be denoted by phase shift is going to be equal to negative c over b, which in this case is negative negative pi over 2 over 1. So our phase shift is going to be equal to pi over 2. So what that's going to tell us is in red, we're going to shift all of our points to the right, or positive pi over 2. So I'm going to shift this initial point that way. I'm going to shift the maximum. I'm going to shift the midpoint. I'm going to shift the minimum. And I'm going to shift the endpoint. And so when I connect the dots now, my red curve is y equals sine x minus pi over 2. So that is how phase shift affects our sine curve.